Hi, welcome to Angela's Anything Show. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a plantain pizza crust. Now, I first showed you this recipe in my What I Ate in a Day video, and a lot of people asked me about it afterwards. A lot of people, AKA two to three of my friends. So I thought I'd share it with you. It's, it's extremely easy. It's definitely the best pizza crust, like best healthy pizza crust recipe that I've ever come across. It's much better than the cauliflower pizza and whatever else there is. I guess it's just cauliflower. If you're just making this for yourself, then I would recommend um, just one plantain. That'll make you like a round little serving size pizza. I'm gonna do it with two, which I've actually never done. And we're gonna make it a big one for two people. You'll need at least one green plantain. It's very important. The yellow plantains are ripe and they're really sweet, so you're not gonna you're gonna have a, a sweet pizza crust. So I don't know. That's more like desserty. This is optional, but some Italian spices. I have uh, some rosemary, some basil, some thyme, some parsley and oregano, some flaxseed, about a tablespoon. I use flaxseed powder. You can also use egg if you want. The plantain binds together really well, so I even think just a little olive oil in there would be fine. You'll also need not a crazy intense blender, just something. This is just a regular old Ninja Chopper. I think it retails for around 20 bucks. So anything that's just gonna pulse it. And I also have a little liquid because I'm going to use that to help facilitate the blending. The first thing you're gonna do is peel your plantains. I just cut the ends off and kind of slice them down the sides and they'll peel. So it's a little harder to peel than a banana. Put them in your blender along with a little bit of water. I don't know, maybe a, a fourth of a cup. And remember, you can always add more water, but if it's too watery, it's kind of, you're fucked. Then you can, whoops. You can add in some of your spices and, you know, be heavy on the spices because you're cooking this, so they're not, they're gonna get a little bit dulled. And then add in your flaxseed powder and then blend. And then once you have it blended, we can pour it out onto the sheet. So we're back. Um, I added in all my things and then this is the consistency. It's like, you know, kind of mushy. Basically, you just need it to be um, thin enough to spread. Oh, you also need a pan. I figured I didn't have to say that. I figured it was obvious. And I lightly greased it. I've also preheated my oven to 400 degrees. Another thing about this recipe that's great is that um, plantains are extremely cheap. They're very cheap. You can get uh, three for a dollar. Do you guys know any good, healthy pizza recipes? And don't tell me cauliflower pizza, because that shit is so much work. So we're gonna take a spatula and just smooth it out. Yeah, spread that shit, dude. And you just wanna spread, 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 and then I'm just gonna be form the edges, because treat yourself. I always take really long in the spreading process, because I just want it to be perfect, you know? All right, that's good. All right, I just have to leave it alone. Okay, just gonna leave it alone. So you're gonna put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 400 degrees. So I'll put it in for 15, check on it, and we'll see. And we're back. So I checked this at 15 minutes and it still was a little stuck to the pan, which is a good way to know if it's not fully cooked. Um, so I left it in for a little longer and I'm about to take it out now. So this is about done. So you can see in this spot where it's too thin, it gets a little burned, but overall it's pretty good. It should be able to lift pretty easily from the mat. Now, the other issue here is that we do want to let it cool for a bit, um, or else you'll have issues. So we do want to let it cool. Because we kind of want to flip it. Cook both sides, you know? Ooh, it's hot as a bitch. Yeah, it's a little thin in a few spots, but ooh, look at that. Flipped. You know what, I think because this side still feels a little wet, I think I'm going to pop it into the oven for a few more minutes and just broil the top of it. And while that's firming up on both sides, let me tell you a little bit about my toppings. I did a tempeh bacon, and then I have some broccoli, florets, and then I have some baby bella mushrooms. I'm just going to eat everything I'm mentioning. Um, and just some onions and tomato because it's a pizza. <laughs> and you know what I just learned? If you leave mushrooms out in the sun, they also create vitamin D, just like we do. So if you need more, if you need extra vitamin D, leave your mushrooms out in the sun. How smart. Or leave yourself out in the sun. Oh yeah. We're gonna flip it again. You see how that just flips like that? 
And let's start the uh, assembling process. So I'm just gonna, because everything's basically cooked, I'm just gonna pop it on the top rack and I'm gonna put it on broil for like five minutes. Let everything kind of get heated up together. Here we go. All right, we're almost done. All right, so I let the pizza broil for about five minutes. I checked on it once or twice because broil, that shit will burn right away. It smells really, really good. I have the smell of the, the bacon, bacon, tempeh coming at me. I have the broccoli, the onions are just wilted enough. The tomatoes are holding down the fort. As eager as we are to eat this, I think the most important step is to let it cool for a little while because the crust is still a little fragile, especially because now you've piled all the stuff onto it and you just put it in the oven again. So let it cool down a little, give it five minutes, slicey, slicey, and this is gonna be really, really delicious. If you wanna put cheese on here, be it vegan cheese or non-vegan, that's gonna be a really good way, obviously, to bind like all the veggies together because you will notice if you don't use cheese, or like, uh, you know, it's easier for like some of the vegetables to fall off. Okay, first bite. Now, it doesn't taste like a pizza crust. It's just a tasty vessel for pizza toppings. I'll sacrifice a cheese or real pepperoni or this or that for eating something that's actually gonna like be good for me and that is delicious and delightful. It's a really simple recipe. It's really cheap, it's really easy. To make the crust takes about 20 minutes. Like, you can even make it in advance, you know? So, I mean, I think, I've never tried it. Try it, let me know. And that's it, that's my plantain pizza crust recipe. If you like this video, if you love recipe videos, if you want more videos like this, then let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like it, share it if you want to, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.